So first of all, let's see the problem and find out why we need to use the bleeder resistor. So first thing is, I've shown here the rectifier followed with the capacitor filter. We always have discussed in the previous videos where there is a load resistor present, but in reality, load resistor can be connected, but it can be disconnected as well. We have seen when the diode is forward biased, the capacitor gets charged. As a result, capacitor will have some voltage across it. But when the diode is reverse biased, it will discharge through load resistor. But if load resistor is not connected to it, then there will be voltage present across the terminals here. So the case is when load is disconnected and let's say the AC main supply is turned off, capacitor still holds charge. Now across the terminals, if someone touches, they would experience a electric shock. So the problem is this would create an electric shock. Now what to do about this is if we can create a discharge path for this capacitor, even when load is not connected, the capacitor would get discharged so that there won't be potential present across the terminals, which would create the problem of electric shock. We want to have a very high value resistor in parallel to capacitor so that it doesn't alter the operation of the capacitor filter as we discussed in previous videos. Basically, the solution is having large valued resistor in parallel with capacitor. Now, this large valued resistor that we are talking about here is called the bleeder resistor because it's going to allow the capacitor to discharge. So now let me show that resistor here. Let me call that RB. Now when the load resistor is not connected at the output of the capacitor filter, now the capacitor can discharge when the diodes are reverse biased, where they are open circuit, there would be a discharge path for the capacitor so that it wouldn't hold charge when the main supply is off. Similarly, in case of LC filter, which we will see in next videos, where we have a capacitor right at the output side, where this capacitor gets obviously charged when the diodes are forward biased in the rectifier, and the capacitor would have some voltage across it, but there wouldn't be a discharge path when the diodes are off in the rectifier. So hence, similarly, we'll have a bleeder resistor here as well which will be a large valued resistor, which will provide the discharge path for this capacitor. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and thank you for watching.